Yes, uh, thank you for having me here. My name is uh, Aldo Boccaccini. I am professor for biomaterials in the Department of Material Science and Engineering at the University of Erlangen-Nuremberg here in Germany. And what is your connection to the DGM? Oh, I have a very strong link with the DGM. In fact, I, I, was, I, was, I became member of the DGM when I was a PhD student many years ago. I did my PhD in Aachen University and at the time uh, my supervisor brought me to one of the meetings and I became member. So this is uh, 20 years plus which I'm a member of the society and I consider the DGM to be my home society because of the uh, topics on which I work in my uh, research uh, activities uh, related to material science and engineering, the obvious society that uh, uh, is the home for all these activities is the DGM, so I'm very happy to be a member of it. So you said you were a member for 20 years. How do you view the recent changes and restructuration in the DGM? Yeah, oh, that, that's a good question. Um, well, I have not been directly involved in any of these changes. I am a member and I, I do have some activities uh, in uh, or some collaboration with the, with the head of the, the DGM in the topics of uh, a connection with Europe. As a mem as a rep I am representing the DGM at the uh, Federation of European Material Societies um, and therefore I have been linked to some of the activities. In general, I am very positive about the, the uh, development of our society. Very important, the link and the, the, the interaction with the young scientists and with the young researchers. Uh, we need, of course, to uh, get uh, you involved in our activities, and I think uh, this has been pushed forward very nicely in the last years, and so I'm very positive about that. How do you view the connection from DGM to other European societies and also like worldwide societies? Well, I think this is a very important. There are many societies, uh, obviously, in the world uh, and also in Europe. But the DGM uh, plays, in my opinion, a very central role in shaping the material science and engineering uh, field, in, in, in certainly in Europe. Uh, and our participation in the Federation of European Material Societies has been always very strong. Uh, and, and it will continue to do so. So the DGM has, a, in my opinion, a very uh, prominent place in the landscape of material science societies in Europe and I would say in terms of number of members and quality of the meetings that we organize I would think uh, also in the world. So we're right at the point I wanted to ask you next the quality of the meetings what were your some of your highlights from the MSE conference? Yeah I was very happy to be here this year again I have been coming to the MSE all since it was installed a few years ago. Um, I, of course, it's a relatively big conference. You cannot go to all uh, presentations. Uh, for me, my highlight, okay, I think everyone cut the universe according to what you, you, you feel close to you. And the highlight, of course, for me were our sessions in the biomaterials or biomedical materials. I organized one of the symposium and um, I was very impressed by the quality of the presentations, but more importantly, by the great variety of uh, medical applications of high relevance to tackle and to solve medical problems with materials. And you name it, you start with polymers, metals, ceramics, glasses, composites. Uh, the, the variety of topics has been amazing in the symposium where, which, which I organize. And I think this, I take it home as a, a highlight, having learned from so many different areas of application of biomaterials for tackling medical uh, problems. And you said next year it's Argentina as a host country. Would you mind saying some words about our host country next year? Yeah, uh, it's very nice that you remember that. Uh, indeed, I was very happy that the DGM uh, decided to invite Argentina as a partner country for MSC 2018. Um, the, the key point is that uh, Argentina and Germany has a, these two countries a long story of collaboration in science and technology in general, but very important in the field of material science and engineering. I think our members and participants at the next MSC will be surprised at the high amount of 
uh, joint projects and uh, collaborations between German scientists and Argentinian scientists, and we will have a, a, a symposium just to showcase this particular, uh, this particular aspect of the collaboration between the two countries in different aspects of material science and engineering. There will be also uh, invited speakers from Argentina uh, uh, talking about their research and, and their development of the field of material science and engineering uh, in the country. And of course, there will be a, a little bit of flavor of the country in terms of uh, probably sport, football, of course, uh, food, uh, barbecues, as a uh, um, uh, flesh, uh, meat, uh, barbecue, and uh, music, uh, tango. So I think we will be a nice parallel program to the scientific program. Then we are also, uh, already at my last question. Do you have any wishes, suggestions for the next MSE? Well, <laughs> that's a, a new, first of all, that we repeat the success of this one in terms of uh, quality of the presentations and uh, scientific discussions that evolve after the presentation at the different symposia. This is the main, this is the center of a conference uh, in, the, in the scientific community to enhance the knowledge and to generate collaborations and networking between scientists. Uh, and in addition to that, of course, as a bonus you take uh, is the, the possibility of knowing new people also, uh, necessarily also scientifically, but also socially. And I hope that the next MSC will repeat this uh, very strong interdisciplinarity because material science is an interdis interdisciplinary uh, 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 topic. And I think that MSC provides this interdisciplinary forum for discussion and I really hope that the next MSC will be like this one uh, with this emphasis in collaboration between and in networking between the participants.